Coming up on Fashion News Football Challenge, will super agent Sky Andrews sign any of our boys? Have you got any talent? There's no reason why you can't be scouted. Catch up with the stars and the cars at the Starsky and Hutch premiere. Good luck, Bath FC. There's bad tempers and bust-ups at the match. And we are going to have a 22-man rumble here. And the players want your vote for the cover did convertible sports car. You vote for Aaron and you do it now. Sean B, Fash FC. Vote Tony. The stakes are getting higher for the lads from Fash FC. Either it's first or second in the top of the league or it's nothing. After a disappointing draw against Highgate Albion last week, the lads are down to fourth in the league and have a major battle on their hands if they're ever going to top the table. Devastated. So many chances, should have scored, didn't. But let's just hope the results of other matches goes for us because we need to win this league. Can Fash FC turn their fortunes around before it's too late? We've got a win, lads. We've got a win. It's Wednesday night training and the players are still reeling from Sunday's nil-nil draw with Highgate Albion. After the game on Sunday, obviously disappointment set in and the realisation that we may not win the league now um, came as a big shock. I think we're all, we're all quite, quite optimistic of what we could achieve this season. Um, yeah, so the disappointment is quite high. Feeling in the camp just now is um, sort of at a doomed state right now. But um, if we get a result in the next game, then hopes will be pushed up again. But, um, you know, it's never see a day. Attitude in the camp. And the gaffer is well aware that there can't be any more slip-ups. He knows it's his responsibility to re-inspire the squad. A lot of the players I can see have lost their will to win, lost the will to play. What is going to motivate them? Well, it's got to be me. It's got to be the fact that you want to become a professional footballer. It's got to be that your self-esteem has told you that you were a good footballer and you can get better. The fact that we still must win matches, that's what I'm hoping on. Because other than that, there's nothing else to play for. With this in mind, Fash has organised for top football agent Sky Andrews to pay them a visit. He's come here just to have a look at a few of the lads. Not for your personalities, but for what you can do on the pitch. So well, basically, my mate Fash said to me, come down and have a look at any of you to see if uh, any of you are good enough to maybe have someone look after you, try and get you into a club or whatever. I've been watching the show, it's brilliant. It's a great platform for you to show your skills and your talents. And you've got Fash helping you out, you've got good coaches coming down to watch you. So there's no reason why if any of you got any talent, there's no reason why you can't be scouted. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, stop, stop. Good talking. Sky looks after Arsenal's Sol Campbell and Jermaine Pennant amongst others. And the lads are excited and keen to impress. Having someone like Sky is exactly what we need. Um, talent scouts, agents, well that's exactly what I'm looking for anyway. I'm just trying to give it my best. I'm sure the rest of the boys are as well. Just going to give it our best. If he likes us, thumbs up. It would be good motivation for the lads that Sky is here. At least they'll think, you know, there's something to work towards and they can sort of like improve their game. So I think it's really, really good that the gaffer's bringing people down every week. So, you know, the lads are not thinking that it's just like a normal training session. And it doesn't take Sky long to spot some players with potential. Black guy over there in the white shorts. P Diddy. P, P Diddy, he looks like he's got he's got some, some good technique. He looks two-footed quick, good on the ball. He, he looks like he's got a few tricks in the locker. Tall, tall Jamal looks he's a strong midfield player, gets up and down. Fairly good technique. Earlier I was watching a few, a few of them were Sky them. It's like they've been watching too much Johnny Wilkinson. Yeah, the shot's very poor. Yeah. Aware of his team's shortcomings, the gaffer decides it's time for some tips from an old pro. Get your body down over the ball. Get your body down over the ball. Look at your standing foot. Your standing foot is key. Wherever your standing foot ends up is where the ball will go. So while the lads put Fash's advice into action, Sky thinks he's come up with the perfect recipe for the perfect player. There's no one, I've been fucking calling all the time. If you could put Lace's attitude in a bottle, and give it to someone with, say, P did his talent, then you, you'd have a fantastic player on your hands. But does he really think the little man could cut it with the big boys? He's 24, but if he was 14, 15, and a, and the scout saw that talent, and we saw him and he came to us for representation, he'd have a great chance. 
But while Carl may have caught Sky's eye, he hasn't had a run out with Fash FC for four weeks. Does he think he'll get a game on Sunday? I know that I should be playing. I know that I'm a ball player. And you can't hide on a football pitch. And I ain't been hiding. The squad is riddled with injuries, including star players Sam and Pat, who both had to come off during last week's match. Now Fash and Mace have a headache over this Sunday's team selection. We can't lose. We cannot afford to lose this match. So who are you going to put in there? Carl up front yeah. and put Jason yeah. middle of the park. Yeah, I think that's so unbalanced. Jason will not stay there or work there. You'll have so much imbalance with him coming over here. We'll have all this room up here. Well, but it doesn't matter because if, if he doesn't stay, you've got Sean who can bomb forward anyway. Picking the team today has been tough. We've got a few injuries. At the same time, one or two players haven't done themselves any, fa any favours. Um, I've, got, I've had to move the team around a little bit, which I don't want to do. Aaron's coming. It's nice to see Aaron coming at the back. Um, going to bring in Jason as well. We're going to put Carl Pity Diddy up front and Jamie HK will be uh, dropped. So as the team is announced, surely the regulars of Bench FC are delighted about their promotions. Okay, it's the end of the season. We've got nothing to play for. We can't win the league. I don't think we can come second and we might get a third or fourth. So he's probably thinking, put Jason, put Aaron in, put P. Diddy in. So I th I, it's like a, it's not like a win-win situation for us. <clears throat> but then again, it's not a lose-lose. So we're just going to turn up and play our best. Every game I've started, I've scored in. So that's a good start, apart from the time I got sent off. But we won't talk about that. In my head, I think that the gaffer sometimes, he's got a thing with loyalty, earning your stars and stripes. So I knew at the beginning I might struggle to just walk. I didn't think I was going to walk in the team and leave people like Jamie H and whoever else out because of the fact that they've been here throughout the whole season, seven months or whatever. I've just come in and like, I didn't expect him to pick me first and foremost, but I gave it the first three, four games, kept my mouth shut, didn't say nothing, tried to earn my stars and stripes. I believe I've proven my point now, do you know what I mean? So hopefully I'll be playing every week. Right then, you loyal armchair supporters, the lines are now open for you to vote for your favourite Bash FC player. Who would you like to see get a chance to win the end of season sports car? Could it be one of these? That's how I used to look, looking a bit rough to date. You should vote for me to get the car because number one, I got caught kissing a girl at Cafe de Paris. My parents threw me out, so this car will give me a place to live in. Secondly, you should vote for me because I made the biggest mistake at the beginning of the season. What an awful defensive error, great But I've got better and better, and even the gaffer thinks I'm fairly good. You make the decision, you vote for Aaron, and you do it now. I think you should vote for me because I've been one of the most consistent players in the squad. I've played in a variety of positions for the gaffer. I've done a job, I've scored goals. Brent and Ebony's through here, could be three, Ebony! Yeah! And uh, I've, had, I've had my moments, up and down. I don't give a fuck about everyone else, everyone's shit! But I've always come out smiling. If I win the car, I'm going to thrash it for a week, enjoy the high life, then I'm going to sell it, I'm going to buy the gaffer some new clothes, I'm going to take the boys and big piss up for a holiday. Thank you very much for voting for me. People, please, I'd love to get this car. I really, really have enjoyed my experience on Fash FC. I've eaten eyeballs, been to movie premieres, giving it my all on and off the pitch. Carl Denny on another run, this boy's been awesome. I'm a real guy, honest, what you see is what you get. Vote for me, please. I really believe that I should win the car because I brought to the team uh, professionalism. Fabio! It has been a joy to uh, do the social nights. I go out, page free games and all that. Play football for me. I'm the only Latin American. There you go. Please vote for Jamal. I've turned up to all the team socials. I made a fool of myself a dream team. But surely you must have crossed the line. I'm always getting cussed by the gaffer for no apparent reason. So please just feel sorry for me. Just vote for Jamal, because you know it's the right thing to do. Uh, hello viewers, uh, Jamie H here. Um, Basically, my car's got no tax, no MOT, 17 years old. Uh, I think it's time for a change. I hope I get the sympathy vote. Thank you. One word, commitment. Although I'm one of the only fathers in Fash FC, I'm a dedicated father, and it's taken 26,000 miles of travel. It's taken 24 days of pure travelling time, which has cost me about £6,000. So I really need to win this car just to break even. So vote me, or the sheep gets it. You know what I mean. <laughs> Still to come on Fashion Who's Football Challenge, Sean is starstruck at the Starsky and Hutch premiere. I love you, man. I love you so much. You're my role model, but I'm... A... 
and the Mad Donkeys are dragged for Jamie. I had a guy actually, he's pretty really nice. So really nice. English girl, you're so pale and so lovely on holiday with your proud man. But secretly he's bored with you. He wanted filthy and dirty and more rude. And when you sleep, he creep into town to look for the backstreet action. He can't resist the city San Jose Mexican pot noodle mess. And as he swallow, he shout, oh yes, so oh yes, so oh yes, so oh yes, oh yes. New Mexican flavor. It is dirty and you want it. Your call means a lot to us. My bank gives me nothing but recorded messages after 8 o'clock. Hello, Mr. Mason. Result? My blood pressure goes up. Mr. Mason, you're absolutely fine. Talk about tense, nervous headache. There's got to be another way. Want my diagnosis, love? Try another bank. Get your hands on the new compact from Panadol. Electric shivers cross my skin. It's like a fever. You're my only medicine. Touch the new fragrance from Lynx. Has your car insurance gone up this year? Yeah, I bet it has. With elephant.co.uk, you could save loads. I did. You see, elephant.co.uk are the first internet-only insurer, which means their costs are lower, which means you could save even more money on your car insurance. So check out elephant.co.uk now. It's simple, it's easy, it's fast. It's elephant.co.uk. Remember, elephant.co.uk. Check it out. Cleaning, Sif. Who else? Well, as you can see, it's another beautiful day at the zoo. In a second, Brad will release the bird, and if you stay perfectly still, sweetheart, the bird will take the prey. Now they can spot prey up to 5,000 metres away, so Shazza's meat should look very attractive to him. Here he comes now. Right. Ah, uh, well, don't forget, folks, feeding time for the penguins, 3.30. New Foster's hit tap. Don't lose your head. Tondos. Go on, one more won't hurt. Bravo presents a knockout season of shows dedicated to the harder side of life. Hard, Monday to Thursday at 10 on Bravo. This is a real dangerous position. They've got to come out near post. Coming up on Fashion News Football Challenge. Sean gets down with his 70s heroes. Don't give me a hug! Don't give me a hug! <laughs> Who's the fittest, furthest and fastest in Bash FC? He was the manager of the athletics team and still be dropped. And the gaffer has a massive surprise. Just when you thought there was nothing to get bigger at Bash FC, this one could be the biggest one you've ever seen. Sean Bella has had a turbulent few weeks. First, he was blamed for some of the goals that kicked Bash FC out of the cup. You know, I'd have credit two of the goals down to Sean. And then he had a bust up with the gapper at training. Where do you want to play? You make the sheet, you decide. I have decided. 
Okay. No, drop. Fine. Then drop me. Fine, drop me. But in last week's game against Highgate Albion, he turned it all around. You're back in the team. And was awarded the man of the match. You will be coming with me, Premier Startsky and Hutt. This spring, two legendary cops are teaming up. Hey, look what the wind blew in. To take on the ultimate bad guys. Goodbye, heroes. Hang on, Starsky. Sean's got to look the part when he meets his idols, so he's getting kitted out in some groovy threads. I just want to really look impressive and look outstanding, make people look at me rather than look at the main characters. Um, I'm looking for something that will make Snoop Dogg think, who is that? Okay. Which is the wizard, like something like that. So I want something that's really, really hip, really, really cool and really, really funky. Oh yeah, yeah, baby, oh yeah, yeah. This is definitely Austin Powers, yeah. Ooh, ooh those don't look too bad. With the, with the shirt. Nice and suede. Go along with the yellow, yeah, I'm feeling that. Definitely. And the pink, yeah. Definitely a good combination there, I like that. Oh yeah, that's yeah. definitely Starsky, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Ben Wilson ain't got nothing on this, man. Yeah, Ben Wilson. Yeah, definitely Ben Wilson. What? Very impressive, love the colours, love the flares, everything's fantastic. But there's one thing that's missing though. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is me, yep, definitely. And while Sean is perfecting his funky moves, his motor has arrived in the form of an original 1970s Cadillac. Right outside the shop, Sean bumps smack bang into Antonio Fargas, aka Huggy Bear. You are my lifelong dream. This guy is amazing. I was always watching you, always watching you, always watching you. I love you. Can I have a hug, man? Then into Hutch himself, although Sean's memory is a bit cloudy. Don't give me a hug! Don't give me a hug! It's almost too much for Sean. I met the legendary, the legendary Huggy Bear, and this guy is just so cool. And I met the legendary, legendary Starsky. I can't remember what his name is, but he's so legendary. I just can't remember his name. I'm just in shock. Having calmed down a little, Sean is joined by the gaffer. And as they head for Leicester Square, they can't help reminiscing about the 70s. I was a massive, massive fan of Starsky and Hutch. I think every red-blooded man was. I loved the car. The car did it for me, and the way it just slid over the bonnet, it was just absolutely outstanding. And to actually see, you know, see them in the flesh, it's just unbelievable, you know, it's a dream come true. Dream come true. And there's more in store for Sean as they arrive at the premiere. They're surrounded by celebrities ranging from A-list stars of the show, Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. Good luck, Bash FC. Uh, don't call us, Owen. Through to the E-list. E for EastEnders, that is. And when Sean and the gaffer are through doing interviews and having their picture taken, Sean spares a little time to teach Simon from Blue how to do keepy uppies. Not that he needs much teaching. Finally, Sean gets to complete his original Starsky and Hutch set by meeting Paul Michael Glazier, aka Starsky. I love you, man. I love you so much. You're my role model, but I don't. Totally enjoying it. I've seen my favourite stars of all time, Starsky and Hutch, and Huggy Ben. Favourites, mad favourites, not Chips, not Knight Rider, Starsky and Hutch. How you doing, Captain? I believe you two know each other. Hey, why don't you do me a favour and go get yourself another perm and let the grown-ups talk? <laughs> Across town in North London, Jamie Hinchliff has some dressing up of a very different kind to do. At last week's match, he had a Western Super Mare of a game. Missing chance, after chance, after chance. This left the gaffer with no choice but to award him 
match donkey. All Jamie knows about his punishment is that a makeover has been mentioned. I don't think I need a makeover. Um, I don't know what to expect. Um, I've got no idea, actually. If I was a gaffer and I had to transform someone for a donkey punishment, I think he'd be a referee. Oh, F. Nice idea, Jamie. But we felt something a little more glamorous was in order. Um, you are here today because we specialise in turning men into women. <coughs> We're going to get you shaved, and the mark is going to take over and start putting you into your body shaping. Makeup artist Pandora and her assistant Mark are frequently asked to create a footballer's lifestyle transformation. So will Jamie be a posh Chardonnay or a cheap bottle of plonk? I think when men tend to sort of dress as women, they, they tend to dress a little bit more as the kind of women that they would like to date. I really have no idea how he'll react. I mean, I don't know, maybe Jamie has secret yearnings to dress as a woman. Never considered dressing up in women's clothes. The only time I've worn women's clothes is when I was 10 years old and I was in the school play at primary school and I wore tights. I was a Griffin and Alice in Wonderland. After the unwanted hair is removed, Pandora's assistant Mark concentrates on Jamie's clothes. And not just with the overgarments. Well, I'm not wearing a panty as well, am I? What? Oh, dear me. When his panties, stockings, suspenders, and bra are fitted, Jamie gets the most important accessories of all. Oh, look alright actually, it's pretty bit nice. I feel really nice. Like Big Wama! Like Big Wama! To achieve a more pleasing waistline, drastic measures are needed. What's wrong with my waist? Nothing, but it needs to be smaller. After being partially transformed, does Jamie have any concerns? <laughs> my bum looks big in this. Yeah. Does it? With Jamie's lovely bum firmly on a seat, let's see what magic Pandora can do with her box of tricks. After an hour under Pandora's knife, Jamie finally gets to see his other half. And Jamie, meet Janine. Oh my god, that's amazing. That should look female, a little bit. <laughs> it is unbelievable, I can't, I can't get over it, I'm gobsmacked. Um, I've got, been told as well I've got a nice arse as well, which is good, and the boobs look good. So that's a nice plus point. I've got quite a nice figure, actually. Good ass. That's, <laughs> that's amazing. I think when Jamie saw himself, he was quite surprised at how pretty he looked. I think he fancied himself, to be quite honest. With Jamie, or should I say Janine, feeling the complete woman, it's time for her to hit the street. To really put our footballer's wife to the test, we invited Patrick, Fabian and Jamie Spaniel to have a drink in a bar, under the pretense we'd be interviewing them about the future of Bash FC. Will they be attracted to our lonesome beauty? The lads quickly realise she's not your average girl. <laughs> But they don't recognise who it is and soon go back to their drinks. <laughs> After 10 minutes at the bar and not nearly enough footballer attention, Janine decides to ask if they're the boys from Fash FC. Guys, Fash FC? You are the right Looks at the legs, the legs were lovely. Looks at the arse, looks at the top half, not bad. Looks at the face, 
and seen his almighty big nose. He looks like a sort of a player's uh, mum. I thought he looked, he looked kind of hot. The thing is, they've got, they've got this fucking pencil, right? And it squeezes your fucking nuts and everything in there. Yeah, and you can't, and he feels like you've got nothing there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dave, you've got a fong on. Oh, 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 he's a proper nice arse, though. So. <laughs> After coming to terms with Jamie's new look, the lads can't resist a bit of a grunt. <laughs> Never touched a silicone before, so these weren't bad. So I'm going to have to have a little nibble later on with them. Let's just hope for Janine's sake they treat her like a lady. It's your chance at home to change one of the players' lives by voting them into the penalty shootout for the sports car. Phone or text your vote for your favourite Bash FC player. Could it be one of these? Come on, vote for me. Stevie Lacey, um, made you smile, and as I've said many a times, I've proven that it's really the taking the part that counts. And it's all about having fun and just being happy, being lucky. Just what I've done all season, really make you smile. Stevie Lacey. Well, I don't think you should vote for me as player of the season. One, I can't drive, so the car's not really much good to me. Plus, I've only been here two and a half months, haven't played a lot. Maybe some of the boys who've been here from the beginning deserve it a little more than I do. Because really, I've got about as much chance of winning as Tony has. So I'd say you vote for someone else. Hello, everybody. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Mike Dingle. Knocked in by Dingle! I only joined the show at Christmas, so this is our one opportunity to upset the whole programme. Everybody in Lou, Liscard, Plymouth, whole of Cornwall, Birmingham, come on the Broom Crew, Scotland, I'm asking for one vote to win this car. We can upset the whole programme, upset all the players. Come on, together we can do this. That's all I ask is one phone call. I've got a dream, and let's take Fashion Sea on tour. I want to take him over the pond, introduce a beautiful game to the ends. Can you imagine what the gaff would say? Fashion Sea on tour? Tremendous. Vote for me, vote for Fashion Sea on tour. Just think, every call you make could give the old fella a chance to take another penalty for the final three to win the car. The name on the silverware. Oh, and he's hit the bar. He's never forgiven himself for that miss in the cup. He has sleepless nights and he needs to bury his demons. You can give him that chance. Just pick up the phone and call this number now and make all the difference. Aye, aye, Captain. Ricky Dillon here, Fashion FC number 11. I provided Fashion FC with controversial haircuts, controversial moments and it wouldn't be completed without a shout out to my own people, so here goes. Apneo Jaktiputno Vot Pau. Still to come on Fashion Who's Football Challenge, it's every man for himself in the Fash FC Triathlon. They came to play and I outplayed them. Smoked them all, they looked at my ass. And can the lads hang on to their league hopes? Ford Wall's in! Oh, big challenge by the number nine, Dave Morris, because he was going to stop for no one. Final trick of the jackpot. Cost pour femme. Fragrance for women. KFC Spicy Zinger Salad, only two ninety nine. Oh. Now I respect you taking on the monsters of fast food for a living. My nephew and I were in full support of the sole trader, eh? But what about a, a little squirt? Of something for that real takeaway taste. Do you know what that is? New Hellman's burger sauce. No, it's your neck. And you're sticking it on the line, not keeping up with the consumer. I can't promote your business through word of mouth with that stuck in the back of my throat. A little bit of sauce. You'll go a long way. You know the little squirt's right. This is no place to have teeth sensitive to hot and cold. Colgate Sensitive provides unbeatable pain relief and a great fresh taste. With Colgate Sensitive, I feel no pain. 
It's a pleasure to use it every day. Colgate Sensitive, everyday protection for sensitive teeth. Feel the sensations of a spa massage when you shower. Palmolive Thermal Spa Shower Gel with white clay and thermal minerals helps gently exfoliate and massage your skin. Palmolive Thermal Spa, the sensations of a spa massage. So what can you do on mortgages? Well, with a Britannia mortgage, you could save more than you think. Good, but what's in it for you? Well, Britannia is a, um, hmm, mutual building society, very nice, which means our members share the profits. Last year, hmm. we shared 42 million pounds. And you won't get that anywhere else. Call Britannia, where membership means a great deal. Mr. Bunny wants your blanket. <gasps> Look, an aeroplane. Hello. When you need to get brilliant results from a non-bio and you need them quickly, use new Aerial non-bio liquid tabs with quick wash action. Brilliant non-bio cleaning even on the quick wash. Mum, I'm not a baby. Aerial non-bio, that's another load off your mind. Anyone, any network, any time, with every one minutes from T-Mobile. Now you can talk for longer with 50% extra minutes on selected price plans. Bigger and braver than ever before, Most Haunted, the fourth series starts Tuesday at 9, only on Living TV. Be there. Coming up on Fashion News Football Challenge, it's the fast and the furious at the Fashion FC Triathlon. In my day, I could run 100 meters, but um, I'm no fart now, so I can't imagine it. And the lads have finally got something to shout about. Unbelievable, what an experience. It's going to be the biggest thing that Fashion FC has ever done. It's Saturday morning and the lads have come down to a sports centre in North London for their team social. Instead of boozing and womanising, the gaffer feels that what the lads really need is a bit of inter-squad competition to keep the team fitness up. The guys will be put through their paces by top British decathletes Mark Bishop and Anthony Sawyer. The guys are going to do a mini version of a decathlon. So the three events they're going to be doing are the 100 metres long jump and shot put, which are the three first three events in decathlon. And uh, they're the power events. And which of the Fash FC boys have the power? Brenton's quite fit, Sean's quite fit, Jason Phillips actually quite fit, but um, he's so competitive, he'll just try his best to win anything. We'll all do quite well. Um, and hopefully I'll be in the top three of all events. I set the men apart from the boys, see who's going to win, and see who's going to get embarrassed and come last, and exactly useless. My money's on Spaniel. First off is the shot put, and if Warren's suggestion is correct, Mark's right hand muscles will give him an added advantage in this event. Or maybe not. Sam Diamond might have a strong right foot, but today he's got a limp wrist. Things get a little dangerous when Patrick steps up to take his throw. Yeah, I got a bit carried away. Um, I asked for chalk. There wasn't any. Slippery hand. Went straight out of V and uh, nearly killed Brenton. Welsh wonder Jason manages a throw of 7.61 metres. If this was John Fashion, if he was the manager of the athletics team, I'd still be dropped. It might not get him in Fashion's starting lineup, but this puts him in the premier position of the first event. Closely followed by big man Brenton and bench presser Jamal. The worst throw was by Mark, who only shot his load four metres. More of a drop, really. Next event, long jump. And as Jamie Hinchliffe makes his approach, dirty tricks come into play. 
Jason faces an even bigger obstruction, but he still manages to pull off a good distance. Next up is old man Paul Baker, who seems to leave out the long in long jump. When it comes to Lace's run, good buddy Stu helps him prove that size isn't everything. Finally, Mike Dingle jumps and the others give him an affectionate cuddle in the sand. The second event is won by Bouncy Patrick reaching five meters, followed closely by a streamlined Sean and a determined Jason. Last was Paul Baker with a mere skip at 2.8 meters. The last event is the 100 meter sprint. In my day, I could run 100 meters, but um, I'm an old fart now, so I can't imagine it. I, I want to come in the top three in my heart, but I don't think I'll come in the top three. I think it'll be quite tight, though, it'll be quite tight. Might need maybe a photo finish, maybe some arguments when we get down the end. More speed than wrist action will be required by the players to get through three heats and into the final. Set. Stand by for the gun. Finally, they're off, but Jamal is left in the starting blocks. It's a blatant full start, but he didn't blow it again, so I was just left behind. And it's Jason who wins comfortably, followed closely by Spaniel. Jamal is allowed another chance in the next heat and Paul Baker is in danger of turning it into the wacky races. My hamstring's really sore and the gaffer would never allow me to do it and then pull another muscle and put myself out. So this is for you, the gaffer. Will two wheels prove faster than two legs? Sean wins by several lengths and even with pedal power, Baker finishes last. The next tee is won by a very modest Warren. They came to play and I outplayed them. Smoked them all. They're looking at my ass. Now that leaves the sprint final between Sean, Sam, Jason, Stuart, Warren and Patrick. They're off. And before long, Warren and Sean are neck and neck, leaving a hopeful Jason and the others far behind. Sean finally runs away with it, but at least the Welshman finds a way to milk being last. The sprint results show that thoroughbred Sean is clearly the fastest Bash FC player with 11.5 seconds. Warren is second and Sniffer Sam is third fastest. Slowest was two Will Paul Baker with 21.2 seconds. When the points are added up, Patrick comes third Jason comes second, meaning Sean takes gold and proves once again he should be in Fash's starting 11. Today was an ideal day to sort of like allow him to sort of like see me as an athlete and see that I'm probably one of the fittest players, if not the fittest player for Fash FC. Whether Sean can stay at the top of his game is another matter. It's a miserable grey Sunday morning and Fash FC have a return clash with Oak Park. The lads are running out of chances to win the league, but the gaffer is feeling positive. We played 14 matches. We've lost one, we've drawn one. That is an absolutely phenomenal record in the world of football, especially in the Sunday league. The question is, is it too late? Can we win the league? Can we finish up second? Flash might see the bright side, but the lads are down in the dumps. The title is probably lost after last week's result, probably due to my fault because I didn't score as well, but um, we just give ourselves a bit of a mountain to climb. We need a lot of results to go for us, and we need to win every single game. We can't afford to lose any more games. We're beating Kings as well. We've just got to win every, all the last games we've got, and we might give ourselves an outside chance. The players are slowly arriving, but Fash and Mason are not happy about their lax attitude. Mathematically, we, you know, we're not out of it. No. We're turning up at 11. We want to be yeah. out at 10 past quarter past for pre-match you know, pre training. Was Jamal here yet? No, that's not seen Jamal. Stuart, Ricky? Stuart had trouble with his car and he's um, got the train. He's got the AA out, but he's, he's called me. That's the only one call I've had. No, let's give him a roll again. Let's yeah, bring it back Fabian, in line. I mean, all of them, all right. Yeah, a bit disappointed, you know, players are turning up half an hour late, three quarters of an hour late, 
no explanation, just wandering in, getting changed. So myself and the gaffer are going to highlight that when we do our team talk. You know, even if even if they think we can't win the league now, we're still playing for pride. We're still playing for getting as high as we can up that league. You know, so they've got to keep the same discipline as we had from the start till the end of the season. The stragglers finally turn up just in time to catch a big announcement from the gaffer. Just when you thought there was nothing to get bigger at Fash FC, this one could be the biggest one you've ever seen. On the 15th of April, Fash FC, yes, us ladies, we're going to Scotland. A special match. England are playing against Scotland, ex-professionals, including myself. Such names as Brian Robson, Gary Lineker, before the big match, Fash FC will play a 12 celebrity match. Yeah! Now, the best player of Fash FC for the first match will come and play in the England match. Oh, so, wow. oh, yeah. With all the big boys. Unbelievable, what an experience. It's going to be the biggest thing that Fash FC has ever done. Uh, Dunfermline is only uh, five minutes from where I live, so I mean, the party could take place at my house as well. I'm really looking forward to meeting some of them um, ex-pros and that. It's going to be great. And I want to be the best player and play with them. You can vote right now for your favourite Bash FC player. Who's earned the right to shoot it out for the ultimate grand prize? Get on the phone now. Uh, hi, I'm Sam. Uh, what have I done for you this year? Well, hopefully you've enjoyed watching some great goals. For the cinema! Oh, oh, he's done it! Uh, you've seen me give my all for the team, uh, including going in for some stupid tackles. Oh, my, I'll tell you what. Suffering terrible injuries. Diamond looks to be hurt. Um, but I've had a great laugh. If you've enjoyed watching me, uh, give me your vote, and I'll hopefully drive away the car. Cheers. Vote for Sean, because I had a sandwich board all over me promoting the show. It's Sean from Fresh FC, remember me? Two, I had danced with the Dream Boys, and you know you like that. I'm just a great guy, and I'm a good laugh. Vote for me, come on, you know you want to. Sean B, Fresh FC, number 19. Hello, you should pick me, because I'm the hard man in the field. Yeah, yeah, so big tackle. Tackle. Whoa. I pull it about a bit, some oh. people get upset, some people don't, they love it. Like me, pick me for the car, because I'm consistent every week. And if you do, I'll buy you a drink. The reason you want to vote for me is because I'm Fash FC's number one. Burgess goes for goal, oh, great save! Donkeys of the match is pretty much the worst one. I've sat on a slab, I've got their naked out of full crack sack, full body wax. Oh my god! Uh, boot camp twice, man of the match, page three girls. <laughs> Barcelona. Enough said. When you look at the rest of the team, you struggle to remember their names. When you look at me, you struggle to remember the rest of the team. Do not define the incidents, rather define the times. You know who makes you laugh, you know who makes you smile, who causes the most controversy. If somebody puts himself on offer and they're standing near the legs wide open, I'm going to kick his balls. Vote Tony. Hi guys, my name's Warren War. I'm the captain of the team. This is your chance to vote for me if you want me to win the car. So far this season I've gone months of truck driving, I've gone on a date with Lucy Pinder, I've been solid in the fence, I've always put the team first, so this is your chance to vote for me. You can also find all the information and vote for your favourite player on the website. Still to come on Fashion Who's Football Challenge, the boys are brought back into line. If we have any more turning up three quarters of an hour late, you will not be playing, you will not be going. Cruising for a bruising in the match. And we are going to have a 22-man rumble here. He's gone down close and you take the opposition. Don't like that one bit. Mrs Harper, do you want to come through? Aww. Mrs Del Beato? Let's have a look. I know, I know. My bank won't give me the number of my branch. Head straight for me. Result? A pain in the neck. Talk about tense, nervous headache. There's got to be another way. Not my diagnosis, love. Try another bank. Horror gets under your skin in Cabin Fever. There's this disease. I think all my friends are getting it. Catch Cabin Fever to buy on DVD and video now.
Here on PriceDrop.tv, where the price on this Black & Decker drill has dropped from £129 to 58 quid, less than half price. Price Lock. It's all over, and everyone pays the lowest price of £58. Next to Maurice Lacroix Watch. OK, everyone, back in 30 seconds. The price is dropping over on Channel 636, and it'll keep dropping until everything is sold. So if you want to save money on homeware, jewellery, electricals and more... 10 seconds. Isn't it time you dropped in? Pricedrop.tv. How low will it go? Drop in and shop on channel 636. Thanks to the Daily Mail, you could make your children's dreams come true with a fabulous holiday offer to Walt Disney World in Florida. Absolutely free. Yes, every child up to 16 gets free return flights, free hotel, free five-day pass to all Disney theme parks. There's even 10% off for mum and dad, plus free car hire. That's right. Free return flights, free hotel, free five-day pass. 10% off for mum and dad, free car hire. Make your children's dreams come true in Florida, starting in tomorrow's Daily Mail. Subscribe to 8181 today and get four ringtones every month for only £3. That's only 75p a ringtone. Just text the words Club Poly or Club Tone to the number 8181 and get four ringtones every month for just £3. Text Club Poly or Club Tone to 8181 now. Impress your lover with a personalised romantic poem that contains their name. Plus get a free flirty poem with every order. Just text the word romance and your lover's name to 8181 now. So text the word romance and your lover's name to 8181. 8181. Well, see, the European Parliament is wrong. Uh, 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 uh. I don't do politics. Hmm. Surely they're not digging it up again. Uh, uh, you don't do politics, remember? How come we never win anything? Naughty, naughty. Politics. £3.50? Now then. For crying out loud. No. Isn't someone going to do something? Uh. Well, I... Oi! <sighs> Politics affects almost everything. So if you don't do politics, there's not much you do do. What? Last orders? Is... Oh, sorry. For registration and voting details, call 0800 3280 280. When Starsky and Hutch go deep undercover, it's not what they do. That's a fake mustache. It's how they... Do it. Do it. All right. Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson, Vince Vaughn, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Bacardi and Cola, do it, do it. You just stole my voice. No, I didn't. Starsky and Hutch. Next time on Alias. Why did the Covenant take two years of my life? All new Alias, Series 3, continues Sunday at 9, exclusively on Bravo. <laughs> Coming up on Fashion News Football Challenge, Tempers Bray at the big match. Surely that's a penalty kick. Surely that is a penalty kick from the referee. And Warren is on the war path. We only beat eight men. The lads are fired up about playing a celeb match, but Mace has got a stern warning. Hey, you like that announcement, eh? You want to go to Scotland? Yes. Yeah? I'll tell you, if we have any more turning up half an hour, three quarters of an hour late, you will not be playing, you will not be going. Gaffer. Yet again, it's the same, we've got to win. No draw, not interested in it. You can see what it's like out there. It's wet, it's windy, it's cold. It's a day when the ball has got to be kept on the deck. There is no substitute, we've got to win. Same again and I'll say it until you keep on waking up in your dreams. Shoot hard, shoot early, shoot low. This is the day for it. So it's going to be Oak Park who kick us off and underway here. Jamie Hinchliffe and Carl Denny up front, putting the pressure on. Fash FC in the orange and black. It's Oak Park in the red and white stripes. Fash FC attacking the goal away to our right. An early touch for Aaron Sandu, who gets a high up and under forward. And that will be caught by the wind and carried out here at Claremont Road. The rain pours down on the match, but it doesn't dampen Welshman Jason's thirst for a bit of drama. 
<laughs> it's Jason Phillips. Oh. Jason Phillips is pulled back there, and I wonder if he took a little bit of a dart. This is just what we saw in the last game between these two teams. Carl Thompson pulled back Sam Diamond that day, and today, Jason Phillips is pulled back here. The ref has ruled in Jason's favour, and the oh. governor steps in for the free kick. Well, this looks great. Here they go, Spaniel. Oh. And the subs are working hard to keep spirits up. Evans have just opened, it's pissing down now. This is the worst part about being on the bench. But Paul Baker thinks he's in Hawaii. <laughs> well, here's Jamie Hinchley with a great chance for Fash FC, and he just drills it, and it comes off the crossbar. What a chance by Jamie Hinchliffe. Jamie's hurt and has gone down, but he's not going to get in the way of a run on goal from Warren. I think they need to kick this one out pretty quickly. Warren Moore hasn't seen it. Go on, Warren, go on, Warren. Shot him, go on, Warren. Warren Moore's in! Oh! oh! <laughs> he only beat eight men. <laughs> yeah. What a run. But Oak Park recover quickly and are on the counter. Spaniel tracking back, so too Bella, they have bodies back, Oak Park hardly have anyone there, Amity makes a challenge, still running with it oh. is Michael Cooper, Amity's hauled oh, down, me. Amity seeks retribution, oh. and again, and here come plenty of players now, Thompson steams forward on Amity, so too Spears, in there as well is Davis, and we are going to have a 22-man rumble here. Uh, Brenton retaliated to a bad challenge, it's all died over. Uh, handbags really. Once the handbags are put away, play resumes and across from Sean puts Fash FC on the attack. There they are. Oh, oh it could be an own goal and it is an own goal and it's Sean Bellant's cross that's deflected in by Dave Morris. About time, yeah. 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 That's, it. that's the only way we we're going to score today. Let's take another look here at Sean Bellant's cross that comes in, right footed. Really got the wind underneath it there. And yeah, it's headed in there by Morris and he knows straight away, doesn't he? The ref blows the whistle for half time. And as Fash FC return to the dressing room 1-0 up, one player is in no doubt about who should take credit for the score. Of course I'm taking that goal, that's my goal. That's my goal. Well done lads, well done. Hey, you knew it was gonna be like that. You knew it was gonna be full of intimidation. Look. These monkeys got turned over 7-0 last week. If it turns into a tear-up like it did, hey, listen, at the end of the day, you've got to protect everyone at Fash FC. Do not leave one of our lads in there if there's a pile-up. Stop the fighting, don't start it. But don't walk away and turn your back on it. The only person who looked like they were going to score a goal was their player. And that's what happened. An outrageous own goal. Apart from that, we didn't look like we were ever going to score. Stuart has had hardly anything to do. 45 minutes. Well, we've got another 45 minutes to do, and we're against the wind. Now those monkeys are going to come at us, because they're fighters. They ain't footballers, they're fighters. The rain continues to pour, and as Fash FC go into the second half, they know they'll need to keep fighting to hang on to their crucial lead. And fight they do. Look at Carl Denny, by the way. Oh. Straight through, surely that's a penalty kick. Surely that is a penalty kick from the referee. Denny fouled inside the area. Plenty of oh. players in there as well oh. arguing the case. Carl Thompson is down there, so too Lee Tierney. Oh. And it's all kicking off now. Carl was in the area and blatantly dripped up by the number four. But surprisingly, the ref only awards a free kick. Here's Fabian Hermosa, goes for goal. Bobby Miller's there, rebound, cleared away. Sean Bellett knocks it back in, well, tries to. Carl oh. Denny is there, Thompson gets his foot in and Denny is dispossessed. As the second half wears on, the results come through for two other key matches. A draw between St Andrews and Little House FC and a surprise loss by Kings United mean that if Fash FC can hang on to their lead, they'll go back up to third in the league table. Hermosa left footed into the wind, flicked on, and Warren Moore's there! Pereira knocks it in! Because of a foul in the area, the goal is not awarded. As the full-time whistle blows, Fash FC have a victory under their belt and three vital league points. They're back up to third in the league table and after all the hard graft, the lads are still in with a fighting chance. Tremendous lads. 
You can do no more than I ask of you. For us to be able to win the league, it's teams like that that we've got to walk all over. We are now third from top. <coughs> Next week, we win. We're back into second. We're into second position. And we're in pole position to win the league. We're there. We're just sitting nicely. If we can keep our discipline, if we can keep our focus, if we can keep training the way we're training, one more win, we're in the top two. From the top two, we're sitting in pole position to win the league, to do what we said we were going to do when we first came together seven months ago. The boys are back on Ladies. track, but there are still donkeys to be had. Lakeness, Jamal, stand up. Yeah! Yeah! Match donkey number two, Fabian, stand up. Oh! Match donkey number three. Sean, stand up. I might just warn you three. The punishment you will receive next week is unusually hard. If you don't do it, you won't play on the Sunday. Just to let you know. Sit down. Thank you. And man of the match. Somebody who worked very hard. Somebody who I think the rest of the team are now growing to respect. Respect for what he does on the pitch, not what he does off the pitch. Aaron, stand up. Aaron, please come over here and stand here. Ooh. I didn't even done my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had. Aaron will be going to Dublin oh. for a wonderful St. Patrick's weekend. Oh. Now, Aaron, Mason and myself, are allowing you to take two players oh, of oh, 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 You know, Ben. 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 You know. I can't take Sean because he's got a match donkey. I'd like to take Lacey. Oh. Oh. You guys always go on random matches. Oh. Oh. I'd like to take Warren because he helped me out so much yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Steve and Warren, well done, guys. Well done. Well done, congratulations. I'm really happy that I'm the man of the match. Obviously, the gaffer, he said when I first came, I used to talk a lot and not listen. Um, he said, I've listened now, and that's why he gave me the man of the match. But the hardest thing about the man of the match was choosing two players to come with me. Um, I'd really have liked to take Pat as well. But it's not happening. It's me, Warren, and Lacey. Don't forget, on Sunday at the new time of 7.30, it's the big match. Join me, Andy Goldstein, Andy Burton and Caroline Flack for all the match drama from Flash FC's Bad Tempered Clash with Oak Park. And we are going to have a 22-man rumble here. We'll be back next Friday at 10pm for another Fashion News Football Challenge. Can Flash FC keep their league hopes alive? One more win in the top two. From the top two, we're sitting in pole position to win the league. See you then. We don't know. This spring, how do you kill what's already dead? Foley is in hometown square. Repeat, Foley is in hometown square. 